Hey everybody, this is Tender Rose with Something New, and today I'm going to show you how I used a drop spindle to make fiber into yarn. So, get ready. This is... It's exciting. I'm excited. Uh, the biggest thing though is that, uh, unfortunately for me, turning this uh, in the beginning, you think that's going to be easy, to this which actually it was a lot of fun, very easy to do. Um, doing it evenly, you know, making the yarn as like not lumpy bumpy as possible because when you look at this, you can actually see that there's a lot of uneven strands. Like you see some thin ones in there and some thick ones. So it's not at all even, unfortunately. But you know what? I'm a beginner. Quite literally, this is my second day doing this. I don't feel that bad about it. And you know what? Getting the practice down for it. It's awesome. Um, I've been knitting and crocheting for a while and you know being able to do it with my own yarn like starting out with fiber and then going into yarn I'm super excited over that. So let's see I'm gonna teach you how to or I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how I do it. There we go. Gonna... Alright so as you can see I've already started spinning the fiber into the yarn and I've got a bit of excess so I'm gonna unwind it from the hook and I'm going to take it and start winding it around the dowel part of the drop spindle. And once I've finally gotten to the point where I am comfortable with taking all that excess off, I'm going to find my notch on the side of the drop spindle when the picture is not fuzzy. There we go. So right there. Yep, that's the notch that you're going to put your yarn into, and then you're going to hook it back around. I usually do two, just to make it nice and secure, and then I start twisting it again. And because I'm new, I'm still trying to get a hold of how to wind it up properly. Oh. There we go, and I'm drawing out the fiber so it's a nice, even looking yarn strand but the biggest thing is is that you want to make a nice good spin and I'm going to refer to you uh, another video which actually shows you a better technique than what I'm doing right now uh, which could properly teach you how to do it but yeah that's how it is understand something I literally just started this yesterday um, this was completely on the fly I decided to do this because I was curious how to try and do this. Um, I I have a lot of friends who are into spinning, and it's so cool to watch them make a finished product in it. Like, I know somebody. Her name is Tara. Tara Pollock. She has taken her sheep's fiber. She has like I think five sheep, and she shears the sheep, takes it, washes it boils it, and then combs it out, dyes it, spins the fiber into yarn, and then takes the yarn and makes hats, sweaters, scarves, a little bit of everything with it. And it's super cool and to be able to have somebody I know who does that and uh, be inspired by the community who does that. I mean, it, it's super exciting. Uh, and the best part about it is you're creating the yarn for your own project so you know it's I think it's just a little bit cooler in my own uh in my own thinking like I have this enormous glare and it's just awful and I'm trying to figure out the best lighting for it and I can't there oh oh oh, oh I had it I had it mm, right there we'll just pretend that that's it yes diesel everybody meet diesel that's diesel he is my roommate's labradoodle. Yes. Hi. Say hi to everybody. Oh, good boy. All right. That's Diesel. And there you go. That was my first real time um, ever messing around with a drop spindle and making fiber into yarn. Uh, I'm actually really excited to do another video. Hopefully, I will have learned more by then to make it look a little bit more presentable for you guys. But thanks for tuning in and see you next time on something new. Bye.